If you're getting annoyed at the slow rate of your progress with learning to code, even just making one of the mistakes that I'm about to talk about this video could seriously be holding you back. And you know how I know that? Because I made every single one of these mistakes myself. But when I stopped making them, everything changed a lot. And I will warn you, some of these are not easy to hit. But these are things that I wish someone had just like shook me and literally screamed at my face like, Thomas, don't do these things. Because if someone did that, I might have actually paid attention. So what I'm going to do right now is hop into my time machine and take you back to the first mistake. There you can see me stuck in tutorial hell yet again. And the reason why is because I'm making the first cardinal mistake of learning to code, which is thinking that you need to remember everything. The truth is that even the best programmers only try to remember about 10% of whatever language or technology that they're learning. Oh, I still can't remember how to use Dunder methods. So the first thing to understand about learning programming is that it's not about memorization. It's about learning the foundations, learning the concepts, and then learning to be resourceful, to use the tools that we have and leverage them to solve the problems that we want to solve with code. Who cares if you don't know something by heart when you can always just go and check the details on Google whenever you need them. That's literally what I do when I'm building my startup. Truth be told, I still don't know like 70% of all the things that you can do with React, all the details of like the Django functions and stuff, because I don't need to. And thinking that you need to know everything will literally just hold you back and stop you from actually writing code, which is the thing that will actually make you learn. But with that, I think it's time to go to our second mistake. Oh God. You can see me in the background planning out the schedule for my day, which includes two hours of learning about compilers, another two hours learning Python, three hours on cybersecurity, one hour on C++ foundations, which is also the fifth language that I picked up in a month, as well as one more hour block to brush up on data structures and algorithms. Okay, so unless you've been living under a rock, you probably realize that there's quite a lot of things that we could be learning in the tech world, which can just make everything very overwhelming. What's worse is if you're really curious, all of these things sound so shiny and exciting and we want to be learning all of these. But the big mistake that people make is that they think that they need to learn everything to land their first job and that's exactly what I used to think. So I ended up just wasting a whole bunch of time learning all of these things that I really didn't need to know at the stage where I was at. We really should just be focusing on in the beginning is programming fundamentals, some computer science fundamentals just to have the idea and then just coding up a bunch of projects to practice your skills so that you can put those in your resume, which brings us directly to the third mistake, which we need to bring us to a different time again. Here we go again. Okay, so let's be a bit quiet here because we've actually caught me from the past in a bit of a sad moment here because I was just spent the past week cramming through this course on mobile development that was 65 hours long. And after doing the course, I tried to go and build an actual mobile app, but I still didn't have any clue where to even start. So now I basically feel like I've just wasted 65 hours of my life and learned absolutely nothing. I just wish I understood the mistake that I was making. That's great. Dude, what the f are you doing? Stop being a bitch and man up. You do realize that this is like entirely your fault. Newsflash, watching 65 hours of content doesn't magically mean that you now know how to code. Like what do you expect? You freaking idiot. Boo hoo, I watched all these lessons and I still can't write a mobile app. Like no, sh if you haven't spent any time actually coding or coding any of the projects that they gave you in the course. Why don't you actually stop being a little bitch and try to understand that in order to learn to code mobile apps, you actually have to try to code mobile apps. It's a bit harsh, but I mean, I guess you're right. When I was doing the course, I was pretty much just like laying down on my bed and not really paying attention. I didn't have a proper project in mind that I wanted to apply things to. So it like wasn't making me motivated to actually study the things properly. Exactly. Thanks, me. Wait, before you go, one, one question. Would you be able to check the lottery numbers for July 18th, 2020? No. And also, 
if you're me and we're both Finnish, then why are we speaking English? Would it like makes me put a swimmer? Oh, yeah, this is kind of disgusting because this is actually my laundry basket, so yeah. Exposure to information is not learning. Trying to learn to code by watching tutorials instead of actually coding yourself is sort of like trying to get hench by watching someone else lift weights. And I want to be clear, this doesn't mean not doing courses. You should absolutely do courses. Online education is the single thing that has changed my life the most. It is exactly how I learned to code myself. But the mistake that you need to avoid is watching without applying. You should watch just enough so that you understand the foundations and you sort of understand what you're trying to do and then just go and try to build something. I know, I know, it's scary, right? But it's necessary. Welcome to the tech industry. This is not easy, this is difficult, but you have to do the work. That is the process through which you actually learn step by step. Like very slowly you start building these different pieces and most importantly, you start building out the skill of being resourceful and being able to go and find whatever information that you need in any given situation because that is truly what being a developer actually means. If you want the fastest roadmap with explanations of these programming foundations and on top of that a full course on actually getting hired and actually learning the skill of selling yourself and being able to turn these programming skills into an actual job you can check out my full program python developer masterclass down below in the description but please don't do it if it doesn't match your goals and if you're not willing to actually apply these principles into your learning process. The truth of it is, if you're not willing to put in the work, nothing is gonna happen, you're not gonna become a developer and you might as well save yourself some time and money by not buying it. But if you are willing to do the work, if you are willing to actually make today the day when you actually start to learn properly, then I highly recommend you check it out. But once you've done all of that, the reality is that this was only really step one. Step two is that you need to start building the right habits into your life to actually become the type of person who's gonna be able to effectively keep learning. And I actually made a full video where I go through everything. You guys have absolutely loved this video. So if you wanna make sure that you can actually stick to the process, I highly recommend you watch this video right after this one. So I will see you there in a second.